All right, so let's talk about why BNPs are essentially useless when it comes to patients with dyspnea. So imagine on two extremes of the spectrum, we have a patient that has obvious CHF clinically, and on the other extreme, we have somebody who has obvious other cause of dyspnea, whether that be COPD or asthma. So on the two extremes, it's clinically obvious. BNP is not going to be useful. Now, everything in between where it's not clinically obvious, most of us would order a BNP. But I would argue that there's a better test than a BNP, and that's the use of ultrasound. Ultrasound can show us what's going on with the right ventricle, what's contractility look like, what does the IVC look like, are there B lines in the lungs. It seems to me like BNP is a useless test when it comes to dyspnea because on the two extremes where it's clinically obvious, it's not going to add anything and everything in the middle, we have a better test and that's just ultrasound.